Hello everyone, welcome back to the RV Rebuild Project. So, this week we bought ourselves a Canadian 300 watt solar panel. Um, because it was not a popular campervan size unit, we were able to get it at a really attractive price. I'll put a link in the description below for the supplier. The securing brackets didn't come with the solar panel and so we bought them from Amazon and they are really well made. Next we needed to make sure we selected the right place to mount the panel and we chose the lower roof in order to avoid any road obstructions like overhanging trees. And this is the waterproof gland where the solar panels will pass through uh, to reach the accommodation unit. Yeah. Well, Rob said he's confident we have the solar panel in the right place. So here goes the drilling of holes into the new roof covering. Well, you lied mate, it's 36 I can see now. And a lovely voltage output in the sunny conditions. So Rob's installing some CLS timber, just where we're going to mount that uh, solar panel, just where the brackets are going to go. Okay. Um. And we put down a real good application of external sealant just to make sure we don't get any leaks. And these screws here uh, came with the free toolkit that we had with the roof covering. And they're great because they've got little ceiling washers on. Uh, and they screw really well into the into the CLS timber. Quite a messy job this sealant, um, so it's a good job we're, we're only on the roof. We bought five metres of cable which uh, should be sufficient for our needs. I'm going to uh, put those cable plugs uh, underneath the solar panel. Uh, that way they'll be protected from uh, any rain. Well, Rob checked several times, checked with me, make sure we're ready to cut the roof and uh, we both agreed, uh, let's get cutting. And we both decided it wasn't necessary to completely cut this uh, membrane away and we'd leave the four flaps which we folded over underneath which you'll see in a second. Uh, it just didn't seem necessary to cut them off completely and risk any water leaks. A bit 
bit more contact adhesive around the aperture for the roof vents just to make sure we've got this material stuck down completely. And as you've probably seen from our last video, uh, this is really strong adhesive. And next, Rob applied plenty of exterior sealant around the roof fence. Quite bizarrely, uh, these roof vents didn't actually come with any screws. We had to uh, go and find screws to fit. And the finished result. And this is the condition of the uh, the offside rear corner uh, and at 27 foot long and a huge overhang you can quite understand how, how this got damaged. And so today I'm going to uh, start the fiberglass repairs on this corner. Uh, Shelby our dog wants to come out. Now don't get shouting at me if you think I'm doing something wrong here. I'm certainly no expert in fiberglassing. But we welcome your comments because there's still some more to do yet. It's a really sunny day today and I've got a maximum of about 10 minutes between mixes. As you can see the fiberglass here uh, smoothed around the corner really well. Thanks for watching the video uh, through to the end guys, so appreciate it. We've got loads of video content coming up for you, so if you haven't already, press that subscribe button, press the little bell, and we'll send you some notifications over when we upload the next video. Thanks for watching guys, love you loads, see you again soon.